seeking for a direction, direct the wife respondent to undergo for a medical test to prove that Mila, she is capable to get married. Now that uh, Please, you will say that she is uh, important Please, Mila. and you will send her to the medical test and basing on that medical test, you will prove. Please, Mila. The respondent Mila not even allowed to take the respondent. The petitioner not even touched her. There is no ceremony. Even the ceremony is conducted, she was refused. Yes. I from the, since from the beginning. The, Mila, the entire pleadings of the petition is very clear. That is the reason, my lord. That is the reason the petition, my lord, instituted for seeking for a decree of nullity for not di not divorce. Contrary to the above, the petitioner had forcibly, by misleading and manhandling the respondent, without any intimation to her parents or to anyone, had taken to the said doctor, who is not a gynecologist, but is just a physician, without any specialization, and the said doctor tried to make physical examination against the wishes of the respondent as regards to her bodily composition or her femininity and the said doctor forcibly conducted the examinations and had declared that the respondent is hale and healthy and has no health issues. Husband petition Malad challenging the orders of the trial court bearing Malad an application filed by the husband who is the petition before the trial court is dismissed. The application Malad sought for a direction to the respondent to undergo for a medical test proving herself that she is an impotent. Because Malad the petition is filed under section 12 of one saying that Malak, she is an imported. The decree of that is, allowed. That, is, that is not allowed. The original petition is filed before the trail court. For the husband, Malak. Yes. He filed a petition under section 12 1, Malak. Yes. Seeking, seeking for a decree marriage. of Malak, nullity of marriage uh -huh. on the ground that Malak, the respondent is an impotent. Uh -huh. During the pendency of the proceedings, Malak, he filed an application seeking for a direction, direct the wife, respondent to undergo for a medical test. To prove that Mila, she is capable to get married. Mm. That was came to be rejected, Mila. How there this are... memo is moved? What is the urgency for that? Mila, he Mila, got married in the year of 2015. Matter, matter Mila, Mila, was led before the trial court for nine years. She has filed Mila, against me a domestic violence. She has also prosecuted me under 498. You also filed this petition of 2023. Mila, the application itself is rejected in the my lord, 2023. We will pass orders. Please come to the order. Rashid, may kindly see. Yes. Now that uh, Please, you will say that she is uh, important. Please, my lord. And you will send her to the medical test. And basing on that medical test, you will prove. Please, my lord. Yes. Please come to the order. Rashid, may kindly see. Mm -hmm. The petition of my lord is an husband. Order impugned, where is it? Please, my lord. Order, my lord, impugned. Connection E, my lord, 2 to 2023, page number 55 to 71, my lord. 71. The finding, my lord, is my lord, available in page number 70, para number 15, my lord. Only one para, my lord, that is the finding. Request your lordship to. Yes. Go to first judgment, my lord. It is very clear, my lord, from the Supreme Court. It is held 2003 4 Supreme Para of 2003 judgment. Please, my lord. Tarasa Dharmapal. Please, my lord. Para number, my lord, 76, my lord. Para 76. Please. Married, my lord. Yes. Page number, running page number 31, my lord. Yes. The matter may be considered from another angle. In all such matrimonial cases where divorce is sought, say on the ground of impotency, schizophrenia, etc. Normally, without there being any medical examination, it would be difficult to arrive at a conclusion as to whether the allegation made by a spouse against the other spouse seeking divorce on such a ground is correct or not. In order to substantiate such allegation, the petitioner would always insist on medical examination. If the present, if the, if the respondent avoids such medical examination on the ground that it violates his or her right, to privacy or for that matter for that matter matter right to personal liberty as enriched under article 21 of the constitution of india then it may it may in most of such cases become impossible to arrive at a conclusion it may render the very grounds on which divorce is permissible negatory therefore when there is no right to privacy specifically confirmed by article 21 of the constitution of india and with extensive interpretation of the fairs personal liberty, this right has been read into Article 21. It cannot be treated as an absolute right. What is emphasized 
is that some limitations on the right have to be imposed and particularly where two competing interests clash in matters of the aforesaid nature where the legislature has conferred a right upon his spouse to seek divorce on such grounds he has come to para 78 78 lord it is however axiomatic, axiomatic that a court shall not order a roving inquiry it must have sufficient materials before it to enable it to exercise its discretion exercise of such discretion would be subject to the supervisory jurisdiction of the high court in terms of section 115 of the code of civil procedure and article 227 of the constitution of india abuse of the discretionary power at the hands of a court is not expected the court must arrive at a finding that the applicant has established a strong prima facie case before passing such an order in this matter milad there is no cohabitation at all since from the beginning milad the respondent milad not even allowed to take the respondent the petitioner not even touched her there is no ceremony even the ceremony is conducted she was refused yes sir. from the since from the beginning the milad the entire pleadings of the petition is very clear that is the reason milad that is the reason the petition milad instituted for seeking for a decree of nullity for not di- not divorce and yes next next milad next para milad palani swami 79 judgment i have read the judgment next i may request 70 the next para milad yes. the next para yes and the very same judgment if despite an order passed by the court a person refuses to submit himself to such medical examination a strong case for drawing an adverse inference would be made out section 114 of indian evidence act also enables a court so first says you should make out a prima facie case please pull out court should be satisfied please pull out exercising the jurisdiction of 115 or 227 please pull out that you have made out a case please pull out then the court will order for that if please the pull. other person refuses it please then the question of adverse inference please pull out so now the whole question is have you passed on those steps please pull out the question at what time you have filed this application this application this, is being filed yes you file your case and immediately you file an application is it a case that there is a the, you have already made out a prima facie case lot when a, no. when a petition is being filed under section 12 my lot for seeking for nullity of marriage my lot so unless, every, lot, every un, person unless there is a medical evidence my lot i can't prove my lot she is important because my lot is it is an arranged marriage she is also stranger my lot marriage is taken place in the year of 2015 itself yes. but there is no cohabitation at all, at all between the parties my lot how my lot under what material my lord what can expect me to produce my lord before the court to demonstrate that my lord she is important or not important my lord only my lord by way of medical evidence it can be my lord examined yes next matter my lord palani swami which para my lord this palani swami judgment my lord i have produced only for the reason my lord at the before the trial court they have my lord raised an objection saying that my lord there is no provision my lord seeking for a medical examination and there is a error in the provision that is the only reason that i have produced that malad. even that the error my lord can be neglected that is, that that is the only necessary. reason yes next judgment next judgment my lord uh, yes i have been taken through the impugned order with the assistance of the learned counsel appearing for the petitioner it is no doubt true no doubt true that directing either of the parties to undergo medical test in the circumstances is certainly warranted the question is whether the defendant should be subjected to medical test or the plaintiff also should be subjected to identical test it is to be noted that the specific case made out by the plaintiff petition is that the marriage could not be consummated as the defendant respondent was impotent and he was unable to perform the matrimonial obligations in the circumstances the question whether the plaintiff petition is virgin or is not a wholly unnecessary in the circumstances the learned trial judge could not have directed the plaintiff petitioner to undergo to virginity test at the hands of the so and so the question whether right of privacy is invaded in the matrimonial case where the parties are subjected to medical test so has been judgments or te- So judgments are referred to in this. The earlier judgments are referred to Sharada's case and all. Even in the order, it has been reflected. All these judgments have been <laughs> in this judgment. Plot the para number five is very clear in this order. Hmm. The order directing the ref- defendant respondent to undergo medical test at the hands of the heads of so and so Kim's Hubli regarding potency is maintained. The order directing plaintiff petitioner to undergo virginity test is on so and so is set aside. Plot the it yes. is permissible. Yes. next next my lord shiva dayal what shiva dayal next is madhya pradesh high court judgment please my lord shiva day oh sorry i'm sorry my lord shiva shanta bai shanta bai my lord uh-huh. that is my lord page number running page number 53 para number 6 my lord hmm on the bottom last two lines yes whether it is found that after a reasonable time of marriage there could be no co- no copulation in spite of opportunity are you reading uh, para 6 or para 8 6 my lord it starts with uh, srimati shanti bai
and the last two lines milan after one month she went back to her matrimonial home the basis on which that is para number 5 milan para number that is in para number 10 out of that point number 6 in the last line 53 last two lines the so finding is at para number 11 please milan applying this test to the present case before that milan i would like to read milan that point number 6 in uh, page number 53 bottom of the two lines right side corner hmm. last milan 6 in bracket running page number 53 milan hmm on the bottom right side last two lines hmm married milan hmm. whether it is found that after reasonable time of marriage there could be no copulation in spite of opportunities because the other party refused to intercourse and resisted all attempts by the husband without just cause the court would be right to conclude that the refusal arose from the incapacity to consummate the marriage i'm not able to find where are you reading are you reading this judgment of uh, madhya pradesh ar 1966 madhya pradesh please my lord that is my lord parents are very clear why this confusion my lord para number 10 my lord page number 12 53 uh, 10, 10 legal position on impotency is two legal position impotency is huh? in the very same para last bottom second line from the bottom whether it is found that after please reasonable ma'am, please yes please ma'am. no whether if you is, say 6 in 10 point 10 the para number 10 point number 6 in para, para number 10 milan yes yes whether it is found that after a reasonable time of marriage there could be no no capitulation in spite of opportunities because the other party refused to intercourse and resisted all attempts by the husband without just cause the court would be right to conclude that the refusal arose from the incapacity to consummate the marriage applying this 11 milan i'm reading 11 yes applying this test to the present case in having given our anxious consideration to all the facts and circumstances we have come to conclusion that although the appellant is not structurally or psychologically incapable of following sexual intercourse generally yet she has an inter- uncontrollable aversion to allowing the courts to the petition husband this case belongs to a r- rare variety of frigidity quad hank and we further find that such un unconquerable aversion to the consummation of marriage existed at the time of marriage and has been in existence continuously we are satisfied that his proceedings have been free from collusion the parties appeared to be free before us no, once you, ha- you have a judgment of the apex court then please, why do you want to rely on the judgment please milad yes. all judgments are following the very same milad hmm. but my respect and submission before this summary court is is, is milad milad she was with me for very particular period of very short period milad she never allowed me to touch her and milad there is no cohabitation between the parties milad according to me in my petition aversion milad when such being the case milad the husband cannot be expected to demonstrate or produce any document prima facie document before the court to show that milad she is in- important unless milad there is a medical examination milad uh, by way of milad uh, order of the court milad i can't demonstrate before the court that is my grievance milad milad the petition has been filed on 41216 man 41 2016 is it 58 2016 41216 was it date when that is after 6 uh, months of marriage marriage hmm. so they had issued a notice to me on 2612 2015 2612 2015 within 8 9 days they filed the petition without even waiting for my reply to Uh, replying the notice, mm. they they filed the petition. Subsequently, the first week of uh, January 2016, I uh, filed the uh, uh, this uh, reply notice. We issued the reply notice to their notice, which is dated 26 12 2015. Reply is when? So first week of January 2016. First By that time, what is the date? Uh, it is a uh, uh, seventh month, seven one 2016. Uh. They had filed the petition on four one 2016 itself. No, my lord, the marriage has happened on. Uh, taken place on 11 6 2015 15 11 6 2015 11, 6, 2015. Mm-hmm. the first and nuptial ceremony has happened on 20 11 2015 20 11 so subsequently they started to live together man, as husband and wife for my submission is that the marriage has been consummated first submission the second submission is that my lord this uh, uh, petitioner wanted a uh, the divorce man. since as per act is not Is a, there is a uh, embargo that within one year you can't file a petition. They filed this uh, uh, petition for n- nullity of the marriage. So can you come to para eight of the petition, man, which is at page number thirty, sorry, page twenty-one, man, para eight. 
of the petition before the trial court. Mm. You may permit to read this one, Mala. Yes. The petition further submits. Yes. That during her stay at uh, his residence, the respondent on 5 12 2050 has taken to gynecologist Dr. Lata at Pragati Clinic, which is situated at Chikka Alasandra, Bangalore, for consultation. Even to the even the even to the aforementioned doctor also, the respondent has not allowed her to test and to make preliminary inquiries. The doctor expressed that some counseling is necessary and detailed examination is required from the reputed doctors to test the maturity or otherwise health condition of the respondent. Now kindly come to page 30, objection statement which, filed, which the respondent has filed before the trial court. Para number 11, I'm permitted to read this particular para. In that one, uh, there's a contrary around the, after eight lines uh, in the middle of the paragraph. Contrary to the above, the petitioner had forcibly by misleading and manhandling the respondent without any intimation to her parents or to anyone had taken to the said doctor who is not a gynecologist, but is just a physician without any specialization. And the said doctor tried to make physical examination against the wishes of the respondent as regards to her bodily composition or her femininity. And the said doctor forcibly conducted the examinations and had declared that the respondent is hale and healthy and has no health issues and her femininity and body composition is normal as like any other woman and the said doctor had never prescribed any medicine or counseling or further examination as alleged. They were clearly de demonstrated the sadistic attitude, nature and character of the petitioner towards the respondent. Well, there is a document in his custody, Mala. Till day, he has not produced the document and has not laid the evidence. He has to prima facie prove his case. Until unless that is proved, this application is premature and it cannot be considered. Please come. 